Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello, brothers and sisters. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Uh, you know, so, sometimes you just want to wonder how did some persons get to the point of gathering the followership that they have gathered? Did they gather the followership by tricks? Or is it the devil that assembled the people around them? And it is more disturbing when those people actually cannot reason with their own brains anymore. This is a video of Hubert Angel's spiritual son, like they call it, who made some stunning and very worrying statements, comparing Hubert Angel to be greater than Jesus saying that the spirit of Jesus was powerless, inferring that the spirit of Jesus was weak, the spirit of Jesus would not help him. So he dumped the spirit of Jesus and took up the spirit of Hubert Angel. Well, it sounded like something that happens in occultic circles where Jesus must be relegated to the ground. I'd like you to watch the video. How be it Hubert Angel has responded? But he responded in his own way. Um, please, just hear, hear them out. I will see you at the end of the videos. Thank you very much. I'd rather have the spirit of Prophet Hubert Angel in me than the spirit of Jesus. Hmm. I know what I'm talking about. Because I have used the spirit of Jesus before it didn't work. But when I now tap into the grace of Prophet Hubert Angel, everything is working. Believe me. Because I have used the spirit of Jesus before it didn't work. But when I now tap into the grace of Prophet Hubert Angel, everything is working. Believe me. Oh, I boast my father. I told you I have no other message to preach to the world than Prophet Hubert Angel. You, you can talk about the Bible. Me, I'll talk about my spiritual father. Aish! talk more 500 messages and those recorded messages all of them jesus is being glorified Always. there is no day whatsoever you bet angel can even say i am like jesus i am higher than jesus there is nothing like that never it will never happen and anyone in our church who can even utter that word is reprimanded sharply now, one of our sons made a mistake. Because you see, there is what is called the art of preaching. When we're dealing with the art of preaching, we're dealing with something that I give you a shock effect. Then change it and shift it. And try to get your attention. Then explain further. So when somebody says Jesus in the Old Testament was lower than the new Christian now, because he wasn't born again. Because one day the Bible says it this way, that for Jesus... After resurrection, what happened? He says, this is my beloved son. Today have I begotten thee. In other words, we can say in what we say in theology, he is now born again. Then the Bible says he's the firstborn of the brethren from the dead. Now we know for sure, now Jesus was born again. And he was the first one. If he says the first one from the dead, yet Jesus resurrected the dead. Elijah. Elijah. Oh, oh, so definitely we know we are not being told 
that he was the first one to resurrect. But you see, the mistake that our young preachers would do is to touch a statement like that, which is a careless way, way of using it. Because you're trying to harness the art of preaching. There is homiletics, then there's homiletics. So the way you flow with scripture, a flow. So you want to shock factor, then you go forward and say what you want to say. But if you mess up by speaking something very bad like that, what happens is people capture that and lie that you meant something. And it should not even be done. Even if you're using the art of preaching, you can't use those words. All right. Um, credit to Igor Angel that he came out to say that what his precious son said was wrong. But I actually did not know what spirits he was saying because in his own response, there are so many things that he said wrongly as well. Now, yeah, Jesus being the first born from the dead, actually, it was not because that Jesus resurrected from the dead. Jesus became the first and only person that resurrected from the dead and never dies again. Jesus is the first and the only living person that died and came back to life and is forever alive. That is the hope, the future hope of every believer. Now, because if we do not believe that Jesus Christ, you know, resurrected from the dead, that our hope in Christ is, is nonsense. So it is not because Jesus was not born again. Jesus was not sanctified by the grave. Jesus was already sanctified. And that was not, the place he was trying to infer wasn't actually the first place that God made the, the, the statement that this is my beloved son. Jesus had been begotten of the father even before the Lord went to the cross. Now, the truth was that at baptism, the voice came, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. In fact, the, the, you know, the Lord had to, in an, another verse, instruct the people to hear him. So being the first born from the dead doesn't make Jesus, you know, that doesn't mean that Jesus became born again after he resurrected. That is a falsehood, Hubert Angel. I appreciate the fact that you know that your son was wrong, but you don't, you don't, you know, demigrate the personality of Jesus. Jesus was perfect. Jesus was sinless. Jesus, Jesus needed not to be born again. Jesus was the, the emblem, the icon of godliness. For in the beginning, Jesus has been, even before the creation. For he created all things. And nothing that was created, that was created without him. And for him, all things were made. And so he came in the volume of the book that was written of him to do the will of the Father. Not to be born and to be born again. It means that Hebert was referring that while you are Jesus, before Jesus went to the cross, Jesus was imperfect. The truth is that if Jesus was not born again, or Jesus needed to be born again before he died and went to the cross, uh, before he went to the cross and died, then God's purpose of sending him would have been, uh, have been defeated because uh, it would have been better for God to stick to the usage of rams, uh, you know, the blood of animals for the remission of sin. But because God was looking for, for a blood that, is, that was not stained, uh, a pure blood that has not been made impure, that was why he has to come in the likeness of a man, a sinful man that has no sin. So I wouldn't know where these people do get these things from. How can this man be saying Jesus wasn't born again? Which Jesus in the Old Testament was not born again? Uh, do we really know what it means to be born again? Do we really understand that it was because the spirit of man got separated from God and became inactive and, and almost, almost useless? You know, he was arrested by the effect of sin and so he died. Now Jesus came and he was the one that actually used the word born again. And the Apostle Peter, referring to, to, you know, to that again, being born again by the, you know, the, 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 the pure word of God. So how can Jesus be needed to be born again? Yet, he, he went to the cross so that men will be born again. 
Do we even realize that the apostles actually became born again even while Jesus was with them? Because he told them, the words I speak to you make you clean. You are clean because of the word I have spoken to you. I know some persons we you know, disbelieve this one. But, I mean, this theology is very, very faulty. What it is, when you know the sincerity of the person who is saying it, in their sincerity, they are utterly, 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 absolutely wrong. Not today, not tomorrow only, forever wrong. But the reason why we don't like responding to that is we give stupid people energy and we energize them because they're already energized by the enemy because christianity nowadays we have people out there who are not interested in facts that's right sir just nonsense just yes. not they're just interested in misusing facts like okay yeah you see what he said you see what he said? yes this is wrong but you have to say to the guy what were you trying to say but in what you were trying to say you said something wrong this is off you can't Yes, I know I shouldn't have said this, but what I was trying to do was this. You cannot do it. Now, you know, there are some, there are some lies in theology. Um, I must tell you the truth. There are some human ideas, human, human ideas and philosophies that have been brought into some teachings in the Bible College. So, the Bible, basically, I, I'm not asking anybody not, not to attend the, the Bible schools. It helps. But the best interpreter of the scriptures is the spirit of the living God. So, and uh, I know he was referring to, to people like us as being stupid. And then you must not be cunning because you, you want to shock the people. What kind of shocking? How many people did, did, did Jesus shock? shock? Jesus was simple. His message carried power. He needed not to say anything to draw people's attention. So you must be plain. You know, so in trying to correct this son of his, he was almost validating him that that is, you know, an idea. It was an idea. He was just trying to get the people's attention and then move on to say something else. You don't tell people lies. You, you don't, you don't, you don't misconstrue the truth of the word of God in order to, to get people's attention. You don't even have the power, the authority to get the attention. If you have life in you, the life in you will attract the attention of the people. Not, not the nonsense you spew from your mouth. I mean, that is the truth. So going back to the man, he said he'd rather have the spirit of Hubert Angel than to have the spirit of Christ. I really do not know if there was no social media, if Hubert Angel would have called him in the secret to rebuke him and to tell him that that is not, that is not right. I wouldn't know if there was no social media. Would Ubert but Angel have gone to that man's church to stand and say, "Hey, your preacher made a mistake. He can't equate me to Jesus. Hey, we didn't even equate him to Jesus. He made Hubert Angel greater than Jesus." Well, uh, let me know what you think of the video. But that is my problem now. My problem is the people, the people that, in spite of such nonsense, such nonsense. People could clap. People could clap for a man that spoke such nonsense. A man that so relegated Jesus to the floor, trampled on the authority and the divinity of Jesus. Now, made Jesus of no consequence, Hubert Angel became, became more powerful. And people who claim to be Christians clapped. I really do not know. I cannot explain what is going on. Is this still the hypnotism, hypnotism? Or is it that people are just damn stupid? Hubert Angel said we are stupid, but I think those congregation, their congregation, their papers are the people that are stupid. Who can talk questions? Questions some stupid things that they are, they are spewing from their mouth. He, he came here to, to, to make Jesus look like ordinary human being. That is what that is what Hubert Angel is also inferring. Jesus looking like ordinary human being until he died there and came back to life. He was not born again. That, uh, that's a rap nonsense. Jesus needed not to be born again. Jesus needed not to be born again. For we are baptized in Christ. Christ is a symbol of life. Christ is the symbol 
of the you know the complete uh, completeness the totality of god in a human form so he needed not to be born again there was no sin in him he had no he didn't partake in the sin of nature the natural sin of, of man he was not fathered by a man jesus had no dna of a human so there was no way jesus needed to be born again we we needed to be born again because our our dna got corrupted Adam fathered every one of us. And because all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God, all, all, because we had our fatherhood stemming from Adam, but not so with Jesus. Adam was referred to as the first, uh, you know, as, as the first man. And Adam had no father but God. And Jesus is referred to as the second Adam. He had no father but God. But unfortunately, the first man failed. He became disobedient. But the second Adam came and was obedient to God in all things. So he needed not to be born again because he was not carrying the corrupt DNA of Adam, the fallen DNA, the fallen nature of the fallen man. God bless each and every one of you. Uh, let, me, let me know what you think about the video. I will see you in the next video. It's there for me to you. Shalom. Thank you so much. Because the moment you, even if we were going to understand you, those two minutes, three minutes, you said that, you went off. What's this? You cannot go on the art of preaching by mentioning something that is blasphemous. You can't. No matter who you are, you can't. I've never done it. I'll never do it. I can never get to a point where I equate myself to Christ. The only equivalence I can use is when Christ says, I have made you friends. I behold, I don't call you in, in my servants. Ah, because a servant does not know what the father is doing. But I've made you. See, see, it's a bestowing thing. He bestowed it on us. So what they want us to do is to punish our people when they mess up. Punish them now. Kill them. Tell them to sit down. Don't preach again. The Bible says the harvest is plenty. The workers are few. But workers can make mistakes. 